Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Underrail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as I try to navigate a world full of electrical spiders because they will... They are here somewhere. They were here somewhere. Last episode we had to fight some, and I'm not really sure why... But uh, some of them attack. Well, one of them attacked from the. From okay. Well, I'm gonna die. That trap was the scummiest trap. I can't move now, which I believe means that I will be. Uh, I will be electrocuted. And I can't stun them. I couldn't. Well, that's lucky that I did that though. Um. I can't move. So. I did not get electrocuted. Quail Spider is being electrified. Which means I died. The, the, yeah. Okay, well, at least we know where they are. And we know they're not there. Because I'm going this way. Okay, I, th I don't know where the spiders are. It's confusing. I'm gonna s stop. Oh, no, don't do that. Just don't do that. <laughs> That one I know is there, so I don't need to, tr to fall for it again. Oh, it does... It shouldn't do that. Why does it do that? The... Okay. Okay. Yeah, this. This. Why does it move while I'm in combat? Well, yeah, why, why, yeah why, while we're in this stage. Okay, let's see what I can pull off here with maximum... Maximum action points? Hmm. Bad things is what I can pull off. Can I scare you? I cannot. Can't really do much else. I... Cryostasis? Nope. Hiccups? Absolutely, I can. That's gonna help a little bit, but it's not gonna be the be all in all, because that thing has. Yeah. Um. Can't even do this. And try this one, but. That's a shame. That's a big shame. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that might be good, actually. Oh, I didn't make the other one burn. Is it electrified? I don't think so. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. We're super dead. Okay. Well. Well. I guess uh, we can we can say goodbye to this place. And I'll come back. <laughs> I could fight the other spiders, but that's just... Plain saves coming. I'm gonna need electrical uh, resistance. Let's uh, let's see. So we have the coil spiders. So if I go over here, oh yeah, this is where we were. So passage, uh, and then passage here as well. I'm sure. And even if it isn't, well, we found the spiders, and I believe that is what existed. In that other place that I didn't go into, that had rocks blocking the passage, you might remember? Blocking the gate, that was a gate. Um, yeah, I believe that's what that was. Um, but I didn't remember at the time, and uh, I, still, I still don't know for sure right now. You jerk. Well, not tremendously so, but still, jerk. You're alone. Which allows me to do this, not waste a fireball. 
there's more of you. Now, where are you coming from? Lucky me. Okay, the fear applies. I'm stunned. Um, do they go into sneak? Save. That was my sound. Well. And you're alone. Let's try this. Not too great. But I think you're gonna die anyway. Yeah, that's a little bit overkill. You can you can stop it. Okay, we got a, a thing over here, but we don't need those. And we are still within the range of our bandages, which is great. And also, I can put this on. Because the spiders just, their electrical damage just destroys it, destroys my shields, even though I'm not y using it. So, it's really, really nasty. All the things. I wonder if there's an electrical shield. Something that allows us not to uh, take damage from electricity. Maybe? I knew you were coming, by the way. I had my finger. As soon as you saw things not lighting up, you should know that I'm... Uh, that I was getting ready for for that. No, I'm not talking. I'm talking to you, viewer. Not evidently not to the siphoner. Yeah, but the moment I I am not highlighting things is because my finger is moved. Okay, siphoner leather. We don't really need those. And I think we're good. So this is a little bit of a dead end. I mean, it might not be. It's uh, it's got a lot of water, so it could be. Could have a passage there. And uh, there's something over here. There's nothing over here. And that means this place is no longer deserving of passage connotations. Let's see where this goes. I w I, I'm willing to believe that I missed some something the first time I explored these dungeons. Because there are so many of them. There's so many permutations. Okay, pigs. I think I have something for pigs that I need to get. Or something from pigs. Hi! You jerk. You jerk. You jerk. Why do you do this? Okay. Didn't hit anybody else. You're stunned for a little while, so I'm just going to step back. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Okay, it's my clothing that's broken. I should have some tailoring kits with me, even if I don't. There we go. Repair a little bit. Even if I didn't, it wouldn't be a problem. And that's the one enormous tusk. That's the one I need. And we got another one. We need three, and we have two. And that means, basically, after that, that uh, all the pigs are irrelevant, and we don't need to kill them. Okay, so there's three passages here. Passage there. Let's go this way. I'm not full health, which is going to be a bit of a problem, but I can make do. This doesn't need a passage anymore. And that one has a passage and an, a water passage as well. And actually, that means that this over here is not going to need a passage anymore either. Oh yeah, I remember. The, my, my trick to remembering if I had been to a place or not is if I found, for example, right now we found that passage, right? We went, this is the first time we did that because this was Fog of War, so we hadn't crossed it. Um, and then if I went into a level that only had three passages, uh, including the one that we just came out of, then that meant that we had been through all of them and done all the things. It's fairly straightforward, but it does require a little bit of presence of mind. Speaking of presence of mind... There's a red dream mushroom over there, which means there's going to be the death stalkers or the crawlers, whichever one. They're all terrible. I don't want any. Although I, I tend to get fewer 
sneak chains from crawlers. The death stalkers seem to always go into sneak, although the crawlers do go into sneak quite a lot as well. This is a complicated level over here. I mean, not from this perspective. But uh, if you were in there, you'd get lost easily. Okay, I'm going through the perimeter because that's always the way I explore and clear up levels out. And I'm also very surprised to see that we are not getting ambushed. Very curious. So, so far there's only one passage. I'm going to save here. And I'm going to go on the, in the counterclockwise direction. No sneaking. Huh. It's simple than I thought it was. Actually. It's just basically a big circle around in the direction I, I did it. And then some caves inside. No enemies. Huh. That's interesting. I wonder, I wonder if I'm missing something there. Oh. Uh, pseudo partial projection? Spa pseudo spatial projection. Okay. I'm getting chilled. That's just for movement points. It's not a big deal. That is a big deal, though. That's potentially a big deal. Okay. Then, if I can make you all afraid, that'd be fantastic. Well, okay, I can make some of you afraid. Fear has been applied. Death has been applied. Healing as well. Off you go. And you're afraid, but you're gonna die. Because that's just the nature of things that are shot by my attacks. The things that are shot by my attacks, is that's nature. That guy's still going around. Okay. Uh, then I could try this, although I don't think... Oh, no. Ooh! Okay. Okay, that's what that is. Please don't hit me. How long is that gonna last? No! You jerk. That was, I was I, I was set up from the beginning. What is even my initiative? Shut shut up! Stop it! Ah. Uh. Huh? I wasn't set up from the beginning, by the way. Uh, so and uh, a specific way to do this now that I'm not dazed is to try and do this first. rely a little bit less on the flames. Uh, I can try this one, because that's maybe going to kill some of you, and it did. And then I can try and scare you here. <laughs> and then I can't do anything else, but I can move closer, which is important. So that guy now has second wind. That doesn't mean I can't... Uh, so you were stunned. That, yeah, that doesn't mean I can't uh, make you burn because I can I can so he's afraid now that one is off still and I will be able to kill you here and then I will be able to shoot you again no I won't yeah you're off okay that went relatively better Huh. Quite a quite a tricky battle here. They just keep me giving me, giving me their brains. But that's about that. I don't think they have anything else or I ever had anything else. So, there is a uh, a place here that I uh didn't necessarily visit. This one. You see how the how the wall does a weird trick over here? I think there might be like a passage. There like a 
the, like those black bits are just holes. And that's weird that it is holes because we're, I mean, it can be for sure, but like it's weird because we don't see them very often. Don't hurt me. Okay, you can hurt me a little bit. That's good. It's good. And then I'll hurt you a little bit more. And it's good because I will still regenerate. There we go. Okay. And also, I made you afraid before, so I hurt you already. Okay, keep an, uh, a finger on the enter key, because siphoners are a reality. There's going to be a passage that we're not going to explore here. Siphoners immediately. I'm very good at this. I don't think I need to use premeditation for the moment. I'll just do this. Um... Well, I guess I'm using premeditation. Okay. There's a junk pile in here as well. Some batteries and some money. Okay. So, passage? Absolutely. Let's go this way. And see if we access a, a place that had... That was marked as passage. Okay, we were here already. I didn't get that mine shroom for reasons, but I got those remains. And this place was indeed marked as a passage. It has four passages, which means that I might have not gone through all of them. That is a lie. I did go through all of them. And this one is the one that I didn't go through because I decided to go left. And there's a hole in the map over here, which probably connects to things like that and whatnot. So, oh. I don't like that. Okay. So. We have one TNT charge. And rocks are actually relatively rare in here. So I feel confident about this. I believe there is a way down. I think there is a, a ladder that takes us down. And I'm pretty sure it's just going to take us, take us to a place where... Oh! Nope. It's fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just going to take us to a place where... Uh, I need physical. Temporal, dis yeah, that's the one, isn't it? I think so. Uh, where are there spiders? Basically. I don't like that. I mean, I like spiders. Just, I mean, not particularly in my face or anything. But I don't like the, the spiders in this game. They hurt a lot. They hurt a very big lot. Also, that is the... Shortest turret range ever, did you see? I moved a little bit and it didn't attack me again. I don't think it can. And it's that... Very bad security features in here. It's a lot of dead, dead things around here. Apparently the turrets are not equipped to shoot flies, which I hate. I hate flies. Absolutely. They're the worst thing. Also, there is... There are things in here, did you see? Why is it not... Why? Huh. Interesting. I wonder if it's a bug. Or I wonder if it's a... On purpose. Huh. It wasn't marked, was it? Okay, this doesn't feel like the spider place that we were at before. I like it. And yeah, the spiders are also a, one of the reasons why the deep caves are so nasty. They are really, really hard to kill. Uh, okay. They're hard to kill and they're, they disable you. It's just, it's bad. Okay, lock has been disabled. We have a throwing net. I wonder if that works on the spiders. I wonder if it's the game trying to, uh, to tell me something. We got a Biaretta 99. She's lovely. Adorable. Okay, we have a skeleton, reinforced fabri uh, fabric ballistic panel, shotgun frame, some nice things in here, some good things, we got coal, I don't need that, okay, can carry all of this, we have uh, blueprints for W2C bullets, I bought those already, and napalm C, an actual component, also for incendiary bullets, and a storage key card over here, so I can't get that one. Hmm. 
Lockpicking 65. I think I'm way above that. I think I'm like a 75. We have ourselves a scoped moon pinky or other. An old data medium. Uh, that's four out of five. And that no, that's uh, that's a good that's a good take. Yeah. We have an actual computer over here. Though most of the files are corrupted or encrypted, you do manage to dig up a couple of readable emails. Uh, let's see. To Daryl Patterson, the subject inappropriate content. Mr. Patterson, uh, even though I have already told you that we do not have the appropriate facilities to store this kind of material, you... Oh. Inappropriate. That's... Okay, it's a different thing, I suppose. Maybe. You proceeded with shipping anyway, though I understand that we must be flexible these days, and it's to be expected that some safety protocol must be overlooked if we are to... This is probably... Uh, if we are to contain the chaos caused by the events down below, we simply cannot store this kind of biohazardous substance. I expect you to arrange for it to be shipped to a more appropriate storage as soon as possible. Horace Montgomery. That's interesting. And then WTH? Question mark, question mark, question mark. What the hell are were you thinking? Patterson, this is a military industry storage. We can store anything from low caliber bullets to high grade explosives. But we absolutely cannot keep these things, whatever you call them. If these things are not out here by tomorrow, and they forgot the off, uh, I'm going to write to the high representative. And then to Lean Romero regarding cryo storage. Oh no, that's in reply, in reply to the cryo storage. I don't know, Lean. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. I cranked up, or should I say down, the temperature in the cryo to hopefully they so hopefully they won't start melting down again but i fear the thir the thermal control is stuck on super low temperature now um anthony castillo that's two anthony castillo uh su subject is sullivan's dead it's down to only wilbert and me sullivan got shot by some crosswired bots one of the renegades sabotaged them before leaving, I guess. I sealed the bots off in 1A. Couldn't even get Sullivan's body out. This is a freaking chaos. I'm hearing all kinds of bad things are happening in the core. Anyway, Patterson said he sent someone to help us clean up here. Maybe there's still hope of keeping this place together. Well, I don't think there is hope of that. And I wonder if uh, Patterson is still alive somehow and is going to tell me, Hey, I sent these dudes over that way and they never came back. Would you care to check up on them? That's, and I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, I did already. They're all dead. Oh, or something. I don't actually know what happened to them. Let's find out. Also, I see you there, there, but I don't know what that is. It's like an old motorcycle, maybe? Hacking 85. Hacking 85. Can I do this? Eighty. Lock up to eighty. I was looking for the, the number. Okay. Well, let's mark it on the map. Nope, wait. We're, we're here? Okay. Hacking. 85. Next level up, I'll be able to do it. We got some electronic locks. Oh, no. A kamikaze bot. That is such a, a not correct name. Also, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, that is a super not correct name. It's not kamikaze. It's just a bomb. <laughs> it's literally just a bomb. It's like saying a bullet is a kamikaze thing. That's not... It's just a complete misunderstanding. Uh, let's see. The hacking 85. Okay. So that's just a bad thing over here. What can I do? Save. Uh, start combat. Open that. Do this. Do this. Chain reaction is quite handy. Okay. Plasma sentry. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. The electrical damage should take care of the shield, though. 
it short circuited, so that's kind of nice. And I still have full health, which is also nice. And I'm gonna do this. Uh, what am I missing here? Action points. Okay. It's not Psy. Safe mode has been enabled. Uh, temporal distortion, more of it. That feels like a very high level uh, enemy, by the way. Let's see what I can do here. That's still in line of sight. Hi! Oh, that goes through the shield. That's that's really good. Uh, so we have force field, which could help us out. Uh, let's see. It does use up a bunch of um, psi points. Hmm. Wonder if I should enable that. This is tricky. So you can send an EMP grenade in, but I miss a lot. Please don't hurt yourself. Okay. That works. Absolutely does. Okay, it doesn't work quite well. Okay. I think I'll do it. Ah, come on. Oh. I forgot about you. That worked out. Yeah. That thing is like a siege tank. Yeah. I absolutely had forgotten about that. Then we got we got a skeleton in here with a card for entry, which might allow us to open that, by the way. That's a hacking AT. Let's go for it. The other one's probably gonna be the same. High frequency shield emitter. I think that's better than the one we have right now. Hacking AT as well. Let's go ahead and do it. Then again, I didn't op I didn't try opening that. We have a regenerative vest. This one is really good. I remember it, it being quite important. So, 84, yeah, this one is better. It's not as good for low damage, but against bullets, it's it's quite it's quite good. In fact, anything, yeah, lo very low and very low. It's not as good. It's still, you know, reasonable. But for medium high and very high, that that's that's quite good actually. So I'll put you over here, and I'll charge you up if I need to, which I very well might. We have ourselves some crafting components, a warehouse inventory list, and that concludes our uh, collection. Psionic Mentor over here, that's very important. That's super important, we're going to learn it. And uh, acid bullets, recipe, and just some more crafting components here. Let's learn... The recipe, even though we're never going to make those, because I think they require biology, or chemistry. Either way, I don't have them. Uh, and then we have... So how is... Where are they? That would be tools. Are they here in tools? I don't think they are. Crafting? That would be weird. Where's the mentor? Consumables? Yeah, that makes sense that it would be here, but it's not. Ammo? Combat utilities. Gear. Curious. Mysterious disc. Huh. We didn't just learn it. That's not how it works. What am I doing wrong? Magnifying neuroscope. Yeah. Wait. When added to a psionic device. Oh, right. Oh, that's nice. Modulator, modulator, napalm C. You're looking at it right now. I know you're looking at it. I know you're being like, ah, oh, this guy. I swear. I. St there it is. Okay, I, I can identify it now. Where does it show up? Because my problem was that I 
It doesn't show up in here. Huh, interesting. That's why. My problem is that I didn't know the icon. I didn't I didn't know how the icon was. So what is it? Psychognitive interruption. This device can be used to automatically teach yourself, yes. Psychognitive interruption. Premeditation. We don't have the well, yeah, we didn't have that. Burns up uh, burns up 25 to 75 of target psi points, dealing damage equal to 182% of psi burned. This damage cannot be shielded and bypasses standard resistance, but can be lowered by the target's resolve. It also applies psionic inhibition to the target for up to three turns, preventing it from invoking psi abilities or regenerating psi points. So yes, it is very, very good. Very, very powerful. It's not really crowd control, but I'm going to put it there. And also, I'm overburdened, which is not a problem, because I have now the other thing. Okay, we don't fight Psy enemies all that much. It's locked. Okay, close it. I can open that one. What was over there? I can put the batteries in. I suppose it's not a bad idea. There you go. Let's go here. And then we can charge things from there. Including our shield. No, actually, I don't think you can uh, click there and send it over there. But still, we can charge things. Some health. Some cardboard container. And now I'm over encumbered again. Which is fine. Because we're out of time for the day. As it's just now looked... Um, and in fact, I think there's a better thing that we can put over here. The big syringes! There they are. Okay, so, let me go back home and uh, deliver all this stuff. Or not deliver, but store all this stuff. And we'll, we'll continue here in the next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Under Rail Expedition. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.